Hello, fellow demons, monsters, ghosts, and overclockers. My name's Bryony, and welcome to a spooktastic special of BIOS Update, our regular tech and gaming news series. Gather round as I bring you this week's haunting stories all about scary in-game events, a free horror game from Nvidia, a PC with real human blood, and some scary dinosaurs. So let's get into it. Want to get spooked during your gaming session this weekend? From limited time events to scary DLC content, games are getting into the spooky spirit with a host of 2023 Halloween events. Here's a list of some of the spookiest Halloween game events you can try out this spooky week. There's Fort Nightmares with the brand new pumpkin launcher and returning witch broom. This season of Overwatch 2 is heavily themed around Diablo 4, with horrifying skins and cosmetics, and a new Trials of Sanctuary arcade game mode. The Houndstone Pokemon makes its debut in Pokemon Go for the Halloween event. This year's Halloween-themed collection event in Apex Legends features a new limited-time mode called Trick and Treat Trios. In Call of Duty Warzone, take part in The Haunting, which features a new zombie mode in Vondel and a limited time zombie royale mode. In Dead by Daylight, your favorite maps receive some Halloween redecoration, and there's plenty of rewards to unlock. Lost Ark receives a Halloween revamp to its store with the Monster Bash update. In New World, take on the returning world boss, Balfazu, to try your luck at obtaining new armor pieces, costumes, and more. In Destiny 2, collect eerie engrams and use them to craft weapons and exotic gear, plus unlock a new set of Halloween skins. The Rust item store has received a Halloween-themed update, complete with gory gear and spooky decor. Survivors Left Behind is a limited time mode in PUBG Battlegrounds, just in time for Halloween. Final Fantasy XIV has the All Saints Wake event with a new story, charm, and item to unlock. The Doctor returns to Rainbow Six Siege, snag some new and returning cosmetic collections, or play the limited time game mode Hide and Seek. In Disney, Dreamlight Valley, unlock unique Halloween decor, outfits, and more. I hope that no matter what you play, you have a ghoulishly good time during this Halloween season. Let me know if I've missed your favorite spooky special event in the comments below. Our next story this week is all about a scary game with some scary PC requirements. Alan Wake 2. It launches today and Nvidia is offering a free copy of this brand new horror title with the purchase of select GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs, which it sounds like you're going to need if you want to get anywhere near the ultra graphic settings at 60 FPS. Supposedly, the game has been built from the beginning as a 30 FPS experience, focusing on visuals and ambience. That means a lot of demanding textures, detailed foliage, and cinematic lighting. And I must admit, the tech overview trailer looks incredibly realistic and immersive, ideal for a story-focused horror title. This translates into a list of recommended hardware that includes a Ryzen 7 3700X or Intel equivalent, 16 gigs of RAM, an RTX 3070, 4070 or 4080. An SSD is needed and you'll need at least 90 gigs of capacity. If you want to play Alan Wake 2 and are in the market for a new GPU, do remember this promotion is only available until November 13th. So act fast if you're interested. Qualifying GPUs start at the RTX 4060 all the way to the 4090 and includes laptops and PCs powered by these GPUs. I'll drop a link with more info below. Blizzard is out for blood, or more specifically Diablo, who are running a Blood Harvest Halloween event. 
During the season of blood, Diablo are offering fans in-game rewards in exchange for donating their blood until November 20th. Players in the United States over 18 can log their contribution towards the target total of 666 quarts of blood. Crimson coated cosmetics will be unlocked upon hitting 33, 66 and 100% of the goal. And all players that own Diablo 4 will receive in-game rewards once the tiered milestones are reached. Plus, once the grand total is reached, a sweepstakes for a custom red-black liquid-cooled PC with i9, RTX 4090, three terabytes of storage and a real human blood will unlock. Unfortunately, the giveaway is only open to vampires in the US. The idea of a blood-infused item being given away may seem a little bit bizarre, but Blizzard is not the first company to hop on the idea of infusing a product with blood. In 2021, Lil Nas X released a custom pair of Nike trainers infused with a drop of human blood. And later in 2021, professional skateboarder Tony Hawk sold 100 custom skateboards that were painted with his blood. So if you're looking for a unique way to celebrate Halloween this year, consider donating blood to save lives. And remember to look out for those cool cosmetic rewards in your inventory. Boom! To celebrate Halloween here at Overclockers UK, our talented tech team have created a special spooky system. We took the fantastic Fantex NV5, the ideal case for showcasing high-end PC hardware, and customized it with a unique spooky design. The outside of the case has been printed in-house with our own graveyard-inspired design, and inside, along with the powerful hardware, you'll find a 3D-printed purple and green skeleton gripping the GPU with bony hands. Shout out to Tom at Quantum Root for helping us out with that one. The spec includes an Intel Core i7, GeForce RTX 4080, and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. It's actually a spooky version of the OCUK Gaming Zirconium, which retails for just under £3,000 if you wanted one for yourself. I just love it when we can showcase the skills here at Overclockers UK with projects like this. And if you want something completely bespoke for your own setup, please get in contact with our talented builds team who will be happy to discuss your dream design. It's not strictly a horror game, but a world overrun by dinosaurs is certainly pretty scary when you're just a squishy human. And we now finally have a proper gameplay reveal for Ark Survival Ascended. It was showcased during the Xbox Partner preview, and wow, 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 it looks insanely good, which is sure to add to the immersion and increase those jump scares when a raptor comes in for the kill. The newly upgraded version of the game uses Unreal Engine 5, which is why the visuals and graphics have had such an upgrade. There are other improvements too, with an overhauled interface, more functionality, better camera, map, and intelligent creature pathfinding, which will make it much, much harder to run from that Gigantosaurus. Ark Survival Ascended will include all Ark DLC and maps, with the new content coming to enhance the story, gameplay, seasonal events, and add 11 brand new creatures. Studio Wildcard is also working on a sequel, Ark 2, as well as Ark the Animated Series. If you're wondering when it's launching, you can actually play it right now on Steam Early Access, but you'll have to pay £35 for the privilege and battle the highly demanding graphics. I remember back in the day my pretty powerful gaming PC getting humbled when the first game came out in 2015, and it sounds like gamers are having a similar experience now, even with high-end GPUs like the 40 series. Some of the reviews are pretty hilarious, with one person calling it Arc PowerPoint Ascended. At least it looks incredible, and it's a true remaster of the original title. We'll just have to wait for PC hardware to catch up with its terrifying demands. Thanks for watching this Overclockers UK 
BIOS Update Halloween Special. I hope that you've had a spooktastic time. Remember to check the description for any links to this week's stories. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to catch our upcoming content and I'll see you again in the next one.